through the carbonate, that's how I got free. Jump it back off because there's no stopping me. Postmodern player, sample tastic, flows it frastic. I get drastic. Hey, watch the plastic. Yo, I name check and leave you drastic. Welcome to the MacGuffin, episode 164. I'm Spencer. I'm Greg. Today we're giving you our DVD rundown for the week of June 26th. Mm -hmm. That's June a is Tuesday. almost over. A, yeah, one more last week. <gasps> June is over this week. <laughs> uh, Confetti. Yeah, yeah. Good times. So we're going to give you a, a wide variety of stuff going on. Uh, some really, really new stuff mm -hmm. and some really, really old stuff mm -hmm. to think about and, you know. Purchase what you may, because this is the rundown and yep. not picks. Thank God. I think we made that clear. <laughs> so the first thing is going to be something from this year, actually. Mm -hmm. Something that is appropriate because we're going to be talking about Chan Channing Tatum mm -hmm. later this week. Mm -hmm. And that is 21 Jump Street. Yes. The, was it, the plus digital copy of it. Mm. Which, you know, it's kind of sad. I was hoping that there'd be a, a DVD, Blu-ray, digital mm -hmm. copy version. Nah. Not the case. We got. They the, don't like you, Spencer. They were just like, "Ooh, that Spencer again." Nope. Yeah, they got Uncheck. the. I mean, they they got the ultraviolet copy, and the Blu-ray has a fair amount of special features. It's got a commentary track by the cast and crew, mm -hmm. gag reel, Cuba Rama, a collection of outtakes with Ice Cube. Hmm. It's got a. Oh, that's right, because he's a teacher. He's, no, he's the uh, the police. Oh, that's right. Yes, yes. And lieutenant, whatever yeah, their boss, yeah, person, yes. whoever their police boss is, mm -hmm. whatever police you call boss. Them. <laughs> yeah, that's the technical term. You got five featurettes and twenty deleted scenes. Wow! But just on the DVD, all you have is uh, the commentary track, one of the featurettes, and four deleted scenes. That seems pretty lackluster, unfair. Seems like they're really trying to push you out of DVD already. I think I think that most people should just upgrade to the Blu-ray. You can it's backwards compatible. But Spencer, it, it costs money. <laughs> do you have an HD TV? Yeah. You're a gamer, no less. I know. I know, like, I know if anything, I, know. Like, I own a PS3 <laughs> and I rarely play it at this point. And you're a dude who plays games all I the know, time, I and know. you don't even have a PS3. There's like some there's some sort of weird imbalance in the universe. Especially considering I bought my PlayStation 2 because it was also originally because it was also a DVD player, and but I've, I have a 360, so it's hard to decide. That, that's the point. very reason I went for the PS3 and yeah. not the 360. Let me tell you. I married into a 360. It was uh, not my purchase decision. There's so many good attributes <laughs> about her. You had to admit that one. Anyway, you know, 21 Jump Street, a tremendously funny film. One of the biggest surprises of the year so far, I would say. And, yeah. You know, it's... I think a lot of people were expecting it to be like Starsky and Hutch. Oh, yeah, totally. Where, was, where you're just like, no. oh, uh, boring. Yeah. It was great. I very much enjoyed it. You can see my review on the MacGuffin website. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, no, good times. Mm -hmm. Good times, for sure. The next one, we're going to go back almost 80 years, yeah. I believe, yeah. and talk about the Criterion release of The 39 Steps. Yes. Talking Alfred Hitchcock here. Mm -hmm. You were very excited about this release. Yes, this is an old school, like... You know, you, there's the classic Hitchcock stuff that we always hear, you always hear about or know right. about. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and generally speaking, most of it outside of Psycho that people seem to talk about is all of his, is a lot of his color work, the later stuff, mm -hmm. said, North by sure. Northwest, you know, uh, Vertigo, etc. Birds, the birds, yes. But this is old school. This is what 1935. Yeah. yeah, so really old school. I didn't rec know any of the actors at the time because it was far enough back. If I remember correctly, it's kind of a spy. Yeah. Conspiracy thriller. And I mean, it, so it sounds like, you know, a standard ish kind of one where it's sort of like uh, an agent is killed, spies accused, he goes on the run to save himself and stop the ring that sort of mm -hmm. uh, implicated him. In the yeah, I, think I, I think he's uh, basically backtracing people who are trying, mm -hmm. who've conspired against him and he's hiding his identity. It's a really neat early, you know, it's kind of. I, I don't mean to in any way to make the movie sound worse by saying simple, but it seems at, it, at its base inception kind of a simple story. Compared but it, to most Hitchcock stuff, yeah, it's a little bit more run-of-the-mill. Yeah, but it's definitely story. interesting and has twists, and if I remember correctly, it has a MacGuffin in it. And that's why Hitchcock is awesome. Yeah, but the, Criterion. I mean, it's Criterion release. you got an audio commentary by Hitchcock scholar Marion Keane. You have a, docu a British documentary from 2000 called Hitchcock, The Early Years. Mm. You have uh, original footage from broadcaster Mike Scott's 1966 TV interview with Hitchcock. Hmm. You have uh, a broadcast of the 1937 Lux radio theater adaptation. That wow. sounds pretty cool. Wow, awesome. You've got excerpts from Francois Truffaut's 1962 audio interview with Hitchcock. 
That's pretty that dope. Would, that's almost worth that's it. That's pretty yeah. dope. And a whole bunch of other booklets and whatnot. So, I mean, Criterion does amazing things. Yeah. If they'd include a digital copy with their stuff, mm -hmm. I'd be much more on board. Or the DVD, dig, uh, mm. Blu-ray, digital mm -hmm. copy version. That would be the one thing I feel like Criterion really mm -hmm. needs to venture down. I'm but, just glad they're doing Blu-rays, though. Just, yes. You know, just and they, I mean, they just like <laughs> they do such a, a good job of mm -hmm. honoring films with their releases yeah. that you gotta gotta respect them for that. Period. Yeah. Just even the work they go through to make the neat kind of uh, minimalistic art styles for the covers mm -hmm. for all the films they re release yeah. is kind of uh, interesting. I like it. The other major one we're talking about for this year is the artist. The, yes. Mm -hmm. Let's see, best picture winner, best director, best actor, a couple other things mm -hmm. there. Best dog. Yeah. Great dog. Great dog. <laughs> the problem with this release is it's by Sony, the oh. same people who did 21 Jump Street, and so it's not the DVD, Blu-ray, digital copy, it's just a plus ultraviolet copy, which is disappointing because mm -hmm. I really would have liked all of them. I mean, we're talking Best Picture winner. Yeah, it should be, you should be having the huge Giganto pack that's yeah. like $50 and has everything and 17 extra so that everybody who wants to buy this best picture film has to pay. And this is money. one of those ones that, you know, it's, I mean, a silent film mm -hmm. in modern day. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's such a fascinating thing. I mean, besides WALL-E, I mean, what was the last time that was done? Yeah. And, and you know, WALL-E wouldn't, it was like 30 be minutes. Yeah, yeah. Just the intro, but still. And it's, it's crazy to think. I mean, I think I'm, silent movie with Mel Brooks is the last one I can think of. Mm. In the 70s. But, like, I mean, in terms of features, they have a blooper reel, which, mm -hmm. who gives about that? You got Q&A with the filmmakers. That's kind of cool. Uh, Hollywood as a character. That's that's kind of an interesting feature. Mm -hmm. right? I, I like, the... I mean, you think about, like, people like Woody Allen and them mm -hmm. using Manhattan as a character yeah, in the movie. So it's true. kind of interesting to think mm -hmm. about other cities. Making of an American Romance featurette. Artisans behind the artist. Hmm. Talking about the costume, cinematography, etc. That's kind of a, I mean, that's a modest yeah. inclusion of features. Not mm -hmm. great, not terrible, mm -hmm. perhaps later down the road. Not Jeff Who Lives at Home. Yeah. Deplorable. Yeah. yeah. And, you know. It's tolerable. Not Criterion. It's, but maybe, you know. I mean, maybe Criterion will take this on at some point and do a better version of it. I mean, or maybe they're just planning another release later yeah. since both of these are so recent that this yeah. is just to make a quick buck while they're still sort Probably. of in people's minds. I don't know. Especially because I just read something today saying that like less than 3% of American audiences go to theaters. I could believe that. I mean, definitely the home market is mm -hmm. where a vast majority of things happen. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, our last uh, one for today oh. is an older one as well. He We're talking about Lupin the Third, mm -hmm. the complete first TV series. Yes. From 1971, I believe. Mm -hmm. This is uh, the old school uh, anime that spawned so many things in Japanese culture, including Cowboy Bebop, an mm -hmm. American, based on it as well. Um, yeah, really exciting to see this because the first series was directed by, or semi-directed by um, Miyazaki from Studio Ghibli. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, they talked about that a lot and, and sort of the... Yeah, and this one's been, it's kind of been, lo the various versions of the show have kind of been uh, lost in the American market as far as distribution. Why don't, why don't you lay down a little bit about what this is about? Because I had never heard about this before since you raised it. Okay, yeah, it's uh, basically a master... A master spy who is just... Uh, a master thief, excuse me, who's mm -hmm. just never can really be caught. And his small cadre of other uh, robbers. Uh, he's, and then a Interpol detective who is always trying to chase him down and catch him. Who's kind of the... Does the kind of Inspector Clouseau bumbling mm -hmm. detective routine after him. And it's... You've got a super suave thief, uh, a, a weapons expert gentleman a samurai and a attractive lady it's pretty much your perfect classic yeah. trope of and it's one of those things where it's like the he's kind of a gentleman thief robin hood-esque but to a supreme degree very lewd and raunchy humor mm. uh the original manga very lewd and raunchy as it transitioned more to tv it got more pg mm. but very fun silly series uh master spy with neat gadgets so it's like james bond but more villainous James Bond cool. meets Robin Hood. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, in terms of special features, it's got both versions of Lupin the Third pilot film. Yeah, I'm it, really interested I mean, to see that what that's going to be. Yeah. Uh, it's got notes written and compiled by Reed Nelson, who's 
runs loopinthethird.com, mm-hmm. audio commentaries on select episodes by enthusiasts and experts, a uh, wealth of data including weapons, vehicles, song lyrics, mm-hmm. and more. Sounds like a pretty cool addition yeah. for those of you who like Loop in the Third or mm-hmm. are looking to get into Loop in the Third. Yeah, and it's great that they're starting it from the beginning because that means they'll release all three series, and that's that's a lot of episodes. What's this yeah. one? I forget how long is it, how many discs it is? Four? Four. Yeah. I think it's like 500-something minutes. Wow. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> it's like 23 episodes, I think. Very cool. Pretty good amount. And so that's it for this week. Let us know what you would pick on DVD for the week of June 26th. Mm-hmm. And join us for our next episode when we talk Channing Tatum in honor of Magic Mike. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but as always, you can let us know your feedback at MacGuffinPodcast.com, Twitter.com slash MacGuffinCast, Facebook.com slash MacGuffinPodcast, phone number. 323-761-9842. We're on iTunes. We're on Roku. We're on Miro. We're on Blip. Check in. Get glue. Mm-hmm. And we'll see you next time. Demon Gowser can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Magneto can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Even Zod can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. This type don't even try to bite the sound style. Mr. Spock can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. The Wrath of Khan can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. The Borg can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Because I've got space game and it feels alright.